Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the child to parent communication using the custom events we have seen. And also we have seen the validation also for that custom events. The props also we have seen. That is nothing but the parent to child communication. Now in this video, we will try to learn another important concept. That is nothing but what I can say is it is an provide inject. Okay. That is the provide inject. If you see here, this is the provide inject. So what is this provide inject? Now let's see with a simple example. Okay. So where we can use this provide injecting where it will be useful. Let's see in this simple example. Okay. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front-end development courses. Now coming to this example okay we already have this uh, let me remove this select uh, component okay so i think our uh, usage is finished for this select component so we have already did select component right now what i will try to do is now here we have a simple uh, app view if you try to see the output i think hopefully if you try to see the output this is the output right now what i want to do is okay let me run the server I think I am not running the server. Let me run the server. So the server is the uh, so let it run. So I can minify this one. Now what I will try to do is, for example, here let us assume that I have a user. Okay, user that is nothing but the name is Leela Web Dev. Okay, so the name is user. Now I want this user to send it to the single post. How I can send simply I can use user is equal to user. Okay. Now in the single post, what I have is here in the div below the description or otherwise below the uh, name. I will I will create new component post hyphen user. Okay. So the post hyphen user I will create a new component post hyphen user and let me try to create a new component post user dot view and let us go to that component so post hyphen view so this has been created and here the template and i will write the template and here i will write a div and in this one i will write a small div okay sorry and i will write the user okay maybe you you could have so much of data here just i am displaying the user only now I can go, I can write the script here and you can write export default and now here I can write data, or not data, props, we will be sending it to props and I can write here user, okay. So this is the props. So now I, how I can send the uh, props user thing, so it is having in the parent, I, so that post type and user is not directly linked with the app dot view parent so it is linked through the single post now i need to send it to the single post and after that single post what i need to do i need to add it here as an user so i am getting the user also now in this post user i need to send the user like this okay so this is the process so the single post nowhere is concerned with the user thing so just it is acting as a creator between the app dot view and the post user so just the data coming from the app dot view it is sending to the post user from the single post okay now let's try to see the output here if i try to refresh okay if i try to refresh this one so here what is the error we are getting you fail to post hyphen user okay so what is the problem we are getting is so we need to import the post user from post user okay and now I need to add it in the components list components and I can add it here post user so just the user of the the user for the post we are just displaying and if I refresh it here so I got this Leela web flow so from where it is coming it is coming from the app dot view and it is going to the post user now here if you see now here it is a single post is the only one child we are having Tomorrow, if we are for a very big project, you will be having inner child, inner child, inner child like that. Okay, that means from app.view, if you want to send it to post user, so 
so you need to send it to single post then other to another component another component like this you will be sending to the post user so that means so we are we are just maintaining the mediator for this one so what is happening here some code redundancy we are getting some code redundancy that is we are writing some extra code for this one so we are sending from app.view to single post and again from single post to post user you said so is there any option for us to send from app.view to post user directly without the interference of the single post can we send this one so if you want to send like that yes there is an option that is nothing but the provide and the inject so what is the thing i need to do it here whatever the user i am trying to send here i need to write provide whatever the data i want to send i will write to it provide it is an object and here i need to tell that user and i can write here leela web dev okay so this is the uh, what are the data you want to provide you need to mention it like this user leela web dev and now this leela web dev i need to send it so how i can this from where i need to use so here automatically you can remove this user thing okay there is no need for you to send it to the single post and in this single post also there is no need for you to send as a prop here okay now here also you can remove this user in the single post and now what we can do is directly we can go to the post user and here we uh, there is no props coming and now what we need to do is here we need to use the inject okay inject and i need to write it as an user so whatever the data i am getting it here from the app dot you provide okay user i need to get the post user here inject now let's try to see the output here if i try to refresh this one then also i am able to get the output see. okay now here if you try to see the output so if you try to see the here lab dot view here we are trying to duplicate the code okay if you see here we are trying to duplicate the code we are adding it in the data we need to add it in the data and also in the provide also we are now here if you if you want to use like this this dot user it is better right so this dot user i can directly so user if it changes I automatically it changes. now if you go and if you try to see refresh okay now you will getting an error that cannot read user property of undefined why because so if you are trying to use the data properties here you should not write the syntax like this what you need to write is so here you need to write provide and you need to return same as the data data how you are sending the data as a function returning the object you need to send it like this now this dot user you are sending right now if you try to check the output if i try to refresh let it refresh and if i try to see the output here now you are able to see the leela web dev now the thing what i want to do is i want to show you another thing so whether i change the user in the app dot you will the post user the data present in this user also changes or not let's try to see here now here what i will try to do is in the container in the top i will try to show the same user here okay user why because in the parent we are showing and here if i if I refresh and I, am, I will be able to see the what I can say the Leela web dev here also we are able to see now what I will try to do is here I will try to add one link okay so what I can do is class is equal to from my iPhone 4 so that you can show it from what I, and here I will add a link to that if you change the here I can write click to change user name and here what i will try to do here at the red click dot prevent is equal to change user and here i can take this one and in the methods i can write change user and here what i can write is this dot user is equal to updated leela web dev and we can write it like this now you will try to check here now what we what we need to do oh let's me write some div let me write other div here i can wrap it in one div here and i can take this my iphone 4 and i can add it my iphone 4 here now let's try to check the output now so this is the leela web dev and the le same leela web dev the property is showing here we have sent it to the, through the provide inject now i click the here this one now he immediately here the in the parent it is changed but the child parents where we are sending it through the provide inject it is not updating so why by default what i what we what the vue will tell is 
okay by default by default these are not reactive because provide inject bindings are not reactive by default so we need to change the behavior of the, if you want to change if you want to have the reactivity we need to change the again some syntax changes what we need to do is here we need to write computed okay the computed should be imported from the import from view and here i can write computed okay computed we need to inject the computed and here i can write there is one computed and here it will take an array it's a sorry method and i can write it like this okay computed should be computed that means automatically it should die dynamically it should calculate now what i can do here post user okay we got this one right now let's try to see the output here. if you try to see the output here you will be able to get some object okay why because this one is an computed property now what we can do is inject in, uh, instead of this one so let's try to see it in the mounted okay in the mounted let's try to print that console.log this dot user now if i try to check the output here we will try to check the output here if i click on console okay i will click on the console and here you will be able to see the uh, you will be able to see the computer property which uh, how it has been sent and here you are, you are able to see that value so that means we, we we need to use if if it is a computer property we need to use user dot value we need to use like this now if you try to see lila webdo has been appeared here so lila webdo you will be able to see the lila webdo now if i want to if i click here change automatically see here also it has been changed see so that means the provide inject has uh, is now reactive whatever the uh, data you are providing from the parent so if you are injecting in the either in the single post or the post user if you want to use you can use it in the single post also so i can write it here inject so you inject and here i can write user okay now if i want to use this inject user thing i can use directly in the post user we are using it down i will be using div so we can use sorry we can use directly user dot value we can use directly like this i can remove this view now if i want to refresh this one so now i am able to see the error right so now uh, yeah now we are able to see lila web and lila web right now if i click here immediately here also it is changed here also it is changed everything is changed see so the provide inject we can use wherever we want okay so this is how we will be maintaining the we will be using the provide and inject in the parent child communication so you are having a long more chaining in the child component if you want to send from main parent to the below child means so below child means so using the provide inject we can send the data okay now in the in the next video we will try to see events also can we do with the provide inject or not in the next video we will see okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you